What's going on guys? Today's lesson is going to be Easy On Me by Adele. Her heart-wrenching re-entry back into mainstream music again. We hadn't heard from her for a few years. I know I'm a little late to get to this one, but better late than never, so here it is. If you're brand new to guitar, you're going to want to start with my free beginner crash course by clicking here. Everyone else, make sure to check out my 10 steps to mastering the guitar free training in the description below this video. And with that, let's get into the song. Okay, so this part here is going to be the intro, the outro, and the musical interlude in the middle of the song. This one I've adapted to be on the guitar, but it's played on the piano, but it should sound pretty similar. Okay, so let's break down what I'm doing here. So we've got three parts to this riff here. We're going to start on a C chord, and the main thing we're going to be doing here is switching up this first and pinky finger. So these two fingers are going to stay in their place, and we're going to switch between the full C normally, then putting on this pinky on the third fret of the second string, and then just with neither of these fingers on. So those are the three shapes you're going to need to play this, and we're going to be strumming the whole chord but you're going to want to try and put a little more emphasis on the higher strings there so that you can hear the melody shine through a little bit more. But don't worry about that too much, just focus on getting the changes and it'll sound kind of nice. So the rhythm we're kind of doing is... So just listen to my rhythm, listen to the song, kind of feel it out, and you'll get the swing of it if you just kind of listen and try and replicate what I'm doing. All I'm doing is going from the normal C, then the second one I'm doing is that pinky there, and then I'm taking it off, and then I'm ending here, back at that normal C. So we're going to do that, then we're going to switch to an A minor chord and do the same kind of rhythm. And again, just listen to it. It might be a little tough to hear, but if you practice it a bunch, you'll kind of get the feel for it. And you want to just kind of replicate the melody of the actual song. Often on guitar, just listening and trying to replicate that by ear will do you a lot better than just trying to read it out on tabs or notation or whatever. And it really helps to develop your actual musical ear. So... Next up, we're on this A minor here, and we're going to do the same thing. The only thing that's actually changing is a second string, and this is the rhythm it's playing. So then you put those together from the C to the A minor. And then you're going to switch to an E minor. And we're just going to switch back and forth between this first finger on the first fret of the second string and then open. So that's doing. And then you're going to end on an F. So put that whole intro together. And you've got that entire section. Once more for you slow, just so you can get the idea. And that is the intro and the musical interlude part. All right, so right now I'm gonna show you the part that's played in the verses and the bridge. It's gonna be the same for both those sections, so here it is.
Okay, right there was the part that you can play for all of the verses. Put a capo on your fifth fret. We're gonna start with a C chord and I'll show you the strumming pattern. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So work on that one, get the groove of it, feel along, and then we're just going to play that same strumming pattern on a bunch of different chords. So we've kind of got two different chunks to this chord progression. We're going to start, play C to A minor to E minor, and then to F. You can use the full F if you want, or you can use the baby F if that's what you got. So we're just going to play the strumming pattern once on each of these chords before moving on. And you're going to take that, and that's the first half of the verse. The second half is going to be almost the same with a little bit of a change. The next chords are going to be C to A minor, and then we're going to go to a G, and then to F. And you're going to play the F for two bars or two run-throughs of the strumming pattern. So that second half is going to be... end the verse with one strum of an F chord. So you put those two parts together and you've got the full verse. So now here's the whole thing slowly for you so you can follow along. And there's the part for the full verse. Now moving on, here's the part we're going to play for the choruses. Okay, so you can hear that this part is very similar to the verse. We're using the same kind of rhythm, we've just changed it up slightly. So once again, starting on your C chord, we're going to play the same rhythm as we did in the verse, except at the beginning, instead of playing, we're going to play three strums. So we're just adding in one middle strum. So it's going to be one and two to start instead of. Besides that, the rest of the strumming pattern is the exact same. So here is the verse. And then the chorus, just those first three have changed. So it's going to be down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then once you've got that rhythm down, we're just going to switch between a C, a G, a D minor, and an F. One playthrough of the strumming pattern on each chord before switching, and that's all there is to it for the choruses. This part should be actually easier than the verse, and it's pretty much the same strumming, so it shouldn't take that much to change it.
with that, you can play the entire chorus. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. And subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to always get notified of my newest uploads. And if you're looking for a more complete step-by-step -step guide to learning guitar from the very beginning to being a confident, well-rounded guitarist, then you can check out my full program in the link in the description below this video. You'll also be able to ask me and my team questions and get feedback at any time so you always know where you're going, what to do next, and you'll be able to progress a lot faster than someone who's just trying to do it on their own. Link in the description for that, and with that, I'll see you in the next video.